Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, we have received some emails requesting us to share with you guys the new KDS Innova 700 V2. Uh, what is it all about and what's the differences between the V2 and the V1. And some of you guys have already seen other videos on YouTube uh, regarding the V1. Uh, well, what we have here right now are the V2, what we call, uh, what they call the TDT, which stands for transductive, uh, whatever that means. Uh, in short, it's actually a DFC version of the KDS uh, Innova 700 V2, right? This is the version 2. The box is uh, the same as the V1, but we shall now open the box and show everybody what's inside the box of the V2. Right, as usual, Greeting you out of the box are always the instruction manual of the Innova 700. Okay, this time this is called the V2. All right, now um, this is a black and white instruction manual with detailed prints on different parts of the helicopters. It's for your service and maintenance or even your assembly. And what catches my attention is this red little piece of paper and um, it says here, Thanks for buying KDS products. Most of the parts of the helicopter were simply assembled before packaging, but they are not ready to fly, so this is not a toy. <laughs> In order to have a safe flight, you must reassemble all parts for the helicopter and apply thread lock properly. Enjoy the flying. So, KDS is very nice to include a red warning okay, for everyone. Probably if you are new to reassemble the whole helicopter kit. In fact, this applies to all other helicopter kits in the market. So you have to check for thread locking, things like that, and uh, well, to keep your helicopter safe during high RPMs. Okay. Now, as we open the box, we have a few boxes here. We have a longer box, a squareish box, and a thin box right behind. So we shall now go ahead and open the bigger box right here. Alright, as so you open the bigger box inside, okay, you will see a big canopy here, and there's a 700 canopy. And inside the canopy, they inserted the main frame. Alright, this is the main frame from the 700 V2. And this is the red canopy that we have in inventory right now. It's made by Mask Pro from Thailand. Um, well, KDS has signed a contract with Mask Pro early this year to come up with their own series of uh, Innova canopies. So, it's really good canopy. They are excellent workmanship from the Mass Pro from Thailand. So do check them out. Okay, they will have a new version of the V2 canopy which features a, a little cut out here for the motor cooling. So that will be released in a little part of uh, maybe this month. Alright. Now this is the, the main frame for the 700. It's huge. It's nicely packed right inside so to prevent damages while shipping. That's all for the bigger box. On this side, this is a smaller box, we have all the parts required to assemble into the mainframe. We have um, small little packets here, many many packets, which made up of the whole helicopter. Alright, this is the blade holder, the blade clipper, okay, for your 690mm blades. Alright, this is as usual the belts and the tail assembly, pretty nice nicely done here so just do make sure to check through the thread locks and things like that All right. <clears throat> and of course we have the main gear now previously on these uh, KDS V1 all the print on the box has already stated here main drive gear okay at 105T now apparently we had some time we spent some time in did a little bit of count on the T here. It happens to be 115T, 115T. So what this means is this is V2. They have increased the number of T counts on the main gear, which allows you to put on a 12T and a 13T pinion on your model. So just take note that you can probably rev a little bit higher RPM on this little baby here. Main gear 115T as compared to 105T previously. So this is some new upgrades for the V2. Other parts here, the one-way bearing hub, things like that, on this packet. On this little packet here, we have some mm -hmm, servo brackets, the tail rings, or tail boom rings, and other plastic parts. We're going to check that out later. A couple of Helen keys. A packet here, 
comprising of a pair of carbon fiber tail blades, tail fin, the struts, the main shaft, it's all packed nicely in one packet like this. And last but not least, this is all we, we all have been waiting for. This is the TDT head or rather known as the DFC head featuring a lower profile roto head and a ball raise linkage to the main blade. So this is the new V2 roto head system for the Innova 700 series, all right? Now moving on, last but not least, the longer box. Well, we all guess it right, it's supposed to be, I think, yeah, the main blades. Now, KDS has included a pair of RJX blades a 690mm RGX FBL blade. So this is full common fiber, perfectly balanced. A couple of skids here. And finally the boom end. Yeah. And there's the control rod. C control rod for the rudder. Right inside the boom. Alright, so here we are. The new KDS 700 V2. Okay, Innova coming right at you from Sky Hobby Singapore. So if you have any questions, just feel free to drop us a line or two at the comments box right below. And we'll be very glad to answer your questions. So here we are, nice little box, or rather a big box for the KDS Innova 700 V2. All right, thanks for watching.